In this video, we're going to discuss the endocrine system, which allows different parts of our body to communicate with each other. You might notice this is basically the same job as the nervous system, which it kind of is, but there are lots of differences between the two, and we'll explore these as we go through the video. The endocrine system consists of a series of glands that are found throughout the body. What they have in common is that they all secrete hormones, which are small chemical molecules that are passed into the blood and then spread throughout the body in the bloodstream. This allows the hormones to come into contact with a wide range of tissues. Some of these tissues, and it's important that it's only some of these tissues, not all of them, will have receptors that are specific to the hormones. And so the hormone molecules can act as signals to trigger certain changes inside the cells. We'll see some of these glands in more detail in other videos, but for now, let's look at the main glands in the system and see briefly what they do. First, we have the pituitary gland, which is sometimes called the master gland. It produces multiple different hormones, some of which directly tell the body what to do, and some which tell other glands to release their own hormones. It's not actually part of the brain, but it's pretty close, and it is attached to the brain. Down in our neck, we have the thyroid gland, which produces the hormone thyroxine. This regulates the rate of our metabolism, and also plays an important role in growth and development. Now, do you remember how earlier we said that the pituitary gland releases hormones that influence other glands? Well, an example of this is thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. If the pituitary gland detects low levels of thyroxine, then it will release TSH, which stimulates the thyroid to produce more thyroxine, which will bring the level of thyroxine back up to normal. Remember, we call this process negative feedback, because if thyroxine levels are too low, they're stimulated to rise again, and if they went too high, they'd be brought back down. Sitting just on top of our kidneys, we have our adrenal glands that produce adrenaline. This is normally released during the fight or flight response, when we're startled or scared. It basically gets us ready to fight or run by doing things like increasing our heart rates and generally getting our blood pumping faster. Just in front of the kidneys, we have the pancreas. The pancreas produces the hormone insulin. And as we'll see in the next video, this helps us to regulate our blood glucose concentrations, which just means the amount of sugar in our bloodstream. The last two glands that we need to talk about are the testes and the ovaries. And these are both gonna come up again in our video on the menstrual cycle. The testes are only found in males, and they have two main jobs producing the hormone testosterone, which controls puberty, and producing the male gametes, sperm, for reproduction. The ovaries, meanwhile, are found only in females. Their main role is to produce estrogen, which influences puberty and the menstrual cycle. They also hold the female gametes, egg cells. Now, lastly, we need to know how the endocrine system differs from the nervous system. First, we have the fact that one relies on hormones, which are small molecules secreted by glands and transported in the blood, while the other relies mainly on electrical impulses, which are transferred along nerve cells. This means that hormones spread more slowly and their effects last longer, whereas nerve impulses are sent very fast and the effects don't last very long, often less than a second. The other point is that hormones act more generally. As we said earlier, they spread through the entire body, which means that they interact with loads of different cells. In contrast, nerve impulses are sent to one specific area, such as the particular muscle that we need to move our arm. So we often describe the nervous system as being precise. And that's all we have to say about the endocrine system. So if you enjoyed it, then please do give us a like, and we'll see you next time.